Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, convicted of murdering George Floyd, has been transferred to a low-security federal prison in Big Springs, Texas, following a brutal stabbing incident. The 48-year-old, serving a 21-year sentence, was stabbed 22 times by fellow inmate John Tursak while imprisoned in Tuscan, Arizona on November 24. Chauvin suffered serious injuries from the attack. The Bureau of Prison BOP initially moved Chauvin to a temporary facility in Oklahoma before placing him in the Texas prison on Tuesday. Tursak, accused of using an improvised knife in the attack, is a former member of the Mexican Mafia, serving a 30-year sentence. He reportedly targeted Chauvin in support of Black Lives Matter and is now charged with attempted murder, among other offenses. Chauvin was convicted in 2021 of second-degree murder, third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter after George Floyd died under his knee in a 2020 incident that sparked global protests. Chauvin is eligible for release in 2038. In related news, former Minneapolis officer Thomas Lane, also involved in Floyd's death, was released from a low-security prison in Colorado on Tuesday after serving 30 months. Lane, who held Floyd's legs during the fatal incident, was the first of the four officers convicted in the case to complete his sentence. He will spend a year after supervised release. Well, that's it for now. With this update, we wrap up today's story. Please stay tuned to US Most Read and please consider hitting the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.